One out of every 11 Canadians over the age of 65 will be diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease. And as the dementia progresses, each day becomes an overwhelming challenge, not just for those with the disease, but for the loved ones and caregivers as well. Here's V. Cooper to introduce us to a woman who wanted to help ease that burden. Making a card and writing a message. Do you want to put yeah, it lengthwise, or yeah, maybe seeing as how everything's like this for writing, you might want to write yeah, on that side. Yeah. Sounds simple to most of us. Hmm, what to put, hey? <laughs> what year is this? But not for those struggling with dementia. I want to have a look here and see if anything strikes your fancy. Dr. Marjorie Moulton lost her father to Alzheimer's disease in 1995. A decade later, she founded We Rage, We Weep to ease the burden on loved ones of those with this mind-robbing disease. You need some help with that? She's now started a program that's stimulating minds and supporting caregivers. We have clients here who are very high functioning and we have some that are more challenged by where they are in their disease. Carl has dementia, but when his fingers touch the keys, his brain remembers what to do. You know, so many people are touched by art and music in different ways, and um, it's one of the last parts of the brain to actually be affected. That's his honey bunny. Is honey that bunny. Cheeky hey, that's, for you? that's cheeky. Oh, right. Yeah. That's good. At first, because it had art in it, he said, Well, I'm not too sure about that. You know, art. I said, Yes, but music with Louise Rose. Oh, yes, we'll go, I'll go. Called Arts and Alzheimer's, it's just once a week for a few hours, but it's a special time, not just for the clients, but for the caregivers too. We laugh and we can say things in that group that we don't have to feel guilty about because if you're not in our shoes, you don't understand. So there's a green. It's the only thing that he wants to come to. 70% of the people who have dementia still live at home with their caregivers. And for them, it can be a little bit more isolating. We have okay. a new member that's coming for coffee. Yes, she's going to learn Gloria. a few tricks. Yep. <laughs> to find out more, log on to weragewewweep.com. Vital People is brought to you by the Victoria Foundation. Connecting people who care with causes that matter.